Andrew Freund here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where I am about to get the scoop from Anne Hathaway and Jesse Eisenberg about their new film, Rio. Your macaw is a very special bird. Blue is the last male of his kind. I have a kind? The only other blue macaw is in Rio. Brazil? Whoa! Don't worry, I'm gonna make Blue look irresistible. <gasps> She's beautiful. Okay, I had nothing to do with that, but it's actually a pretty good song. Naturally. Yeah. Lionel Rich works every time. In the film, you and Jesse's character, you're, you're chained by the ankles. Mm. So let's say, you know, we are in Rio. Yes. Let's say we're chained together right now. Where, where could we go? What, what kinds of things would Anne and Andrew do together? Um... Well, right now I kind of just want to jump in the ocean because I've been staring at it all day, and yeah. wouldn't that just be? We could we could swim. Are you a good swimmer? Yeah, it's decent. Like try. I, I mean, I won't I won't pull you down. Okay, that you would totally about that. Uh, but right now, all I can think about is hang gliding after the film. I would love to do that, so we could get a doubles hang glide thing. Oh my! You know, I'm going tomorrow. Oh, you're so lucky. I have to work. Well, we could you know facilitate. So if you chain me, yes, I, I well no. Probably, they probably won't let it happen. Probably, you'll probably then have to sit there with me for every interview and... So I, wait, are you telling me that I could experience a junket with Anne Hathaway, but like how you experience it? Yes, you could. You could, you could indeed do that. Or we could go hang gliding. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just in Anne's room and I said, if we were chained together, what would you want to do? And her first response was go in the ocean. So let's say Andrew and Jesse were chained together. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what kinds of trouble could we get in? Um, <laughs> we'd probably win a lot of, uh, you know, um, uh, three-legged races. Yes, that's true. Because we'd have the most experience. Yes, that would be good. Um, and uh, in terms of other trouble, I don't know. I don't know. It'd be fun to get a third in the mix, you know? That, that'd be interesting. Yeah. A just, three, a chain, a, like a, a chain link three, thing. Three, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, just to really uh, feel what it would be like to, um, you know, be working on a, on a chain gang. Awesome. You yeah. heard her here. Eisenberg and Freund, chain gang. <laughs> what are you doing? Getting out of here. Wait. Going somewhere? I can't fly! You couldn't tell me this huh? before now! It didn't matter before now! Yes! yes. Stop! Yes. This messed up! There are two blue macaws out there. Help me find them. What's in it for us? <laughs> Let's discuss it. Save me! Now then, go do your monkey business. <laughs> You talk about this before, but you feel that you're more blue than jewel. Yes. But, you know, you're very glamorous. You're wearing all sorts of things that clink. <laughs> um, why, I do do that, yeah. You know, why, why do you, um, I guess, admire blue? Um, well, you know, because I think that I aspire to jewel. You know, I think that she's very independent and, and free-spirited and, um, and really speaks her mind without care for the consequences. And I think Blue is a little bit more cautious and likes to feel things out. He's nerdier. Um, and so I relate to him in that way. And also, you know, I think some people in this world are born knowing exactly who they are. And I'm just not one of those. It's kind of been a, you know, my life has been a journey of self-discovery and growth and all that touchy-feely good stuff. And. Uh, and I think that's more Blue's journey. You know, some people know how to fly, some people have to learn. You know, I'm a slightly neurotic guy. I kind of think, overthink things. And I was watching the film last night. I was like, I can sort of relate to Blue. He's kind of, you know, me in a way. Yeah. So I want to know, is he kind of you in a way? Yeah, when I, um, you know, when I was asked to be part of this movie and when I saw pictures of Blue and saw some animation, I asked Carlos Saldana, who's uh, the director of the movie, who's actually from Rio de Janeiro, um, if I should do like a silly voice or something, and he said, no, 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 just uh, bring bring yourself to it and do it, and and, and be as natural as possible. And so I was so thrilled because uh, you know I thought it would be such a nice addition to um, you know to this movie to have real natural acting on all the actors' parts. So right. all the actors uh, are acting kind of pretty much naturally, and so it makes it that much easier, like you said, to kind of sympathize with them. So do you feel like, as an actress, obviously you're taking on Catwoman, are you, do you feel you're always still learning in roles like this, roles like Catwoman? Oh yeah, I think that's what we're here to do. I mean, you know, and I think that's the best lives are the ones that, uh, and the best people I know are the people who seek teachers and seek learning and then 
try to teach in return. Um, and, and I absolutely hope to learn with every job I, I do, and so far, so good. Um, you know, watching the film last night, I, I got a lot of soul. It's got, like, it does, soul. I'm talking to Sergio Mendez and Tayo, like, Bossa Nova music. You know, just being down here, do you feel the kind of soul of Rio? I do. I do. Well, at this point of the day, it's at the end of a long press day, I'm not really feeling much, but... Um, You're feeling this interview. I'm feeling this interview, though. Um... I, I, I do. I don't think you can help it, but, but here, and I think that's because of the people. The people. Uh, this is gonna sound so weird. The people are so fresh here. Like yeah. the perspective is so fresh. Their take on things is so celebratory. And, yeah. And you know they, and they're passionate and they express themselves beautifully. And um, so I think that you know it takes a lot of soul to be able to do that. On April fifteenth, flying is not what you think up here. It's what you feel in here. Come on, Blue. Tell it Sometimes getting lost. I know where your birds are. No! is the best way ah, last of the species here Whoa. to find yourself let's do this all right blue you're flying sort of from the creators of ice age <laughs> we got it. you two are coming with me in your little monkey dreams <laughs> Rio. It's time to take it to the next level. Check it out. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. Get, 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 get it, girl. Take her, take her to the flow. Show her, show her how you roll. Drop it, drop it, drop it low. Drop it, low. drop, drop I will it. Say, one of the things that I like about Jewel yeah. is that she does go on instinct and she will get right up in your face without thinking about the consequences. And I would like to learn that about her. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go hang gliding then tomorrow. Yeah, totally. I'll All see right. you there. If I if I'm late, you know, start without me. Pinky swear. No, 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 because I'm gonna lie. I'm lying right now. I can't pinky swear. I wasn't thinking about it. It's a fake pinky swear. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Hey, you smoke it. Thanks. That's some. Sorry, Anne. I'm sorry you couldn't go hang gliding with me today. I had to do it without you. Oh well. Here we go. Oh, that's a French. Why they got a French?